Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Drake Hollow. Starting back where we left off, uh, we have to build some thatched beds and some poppets. It looks like old Crow here wants to have a conversation, so let's get right into it by doing that. Ever heard of the veil in your witch books? The magic shadow realm? This is it. We here call it the hollow, but the veil works too, I guess. Maybe that's what they call the hollow in Europe. Who knows? Oh, that's all he wanted? Alright, so we apparently have to build some thatch beds and poppets. Let's see. So for the thatch beds, you need twigs, leaf bundles, and charms. How do you get charms? Um, I don't know. I guess we just need to do some exploring. Let's see if you can do anything with the cauldron. Oh, no, that just stocks it. Okay. Here, anything? Well, I guess we'll just go look. Up in the top right corner, you can see the water and the food, and I'm guessing the last one is the amount of uh, little onion dudes we have, but I don't know. Let's just get some lumber and some twigs, because you never have enough of that. I'm sure that's going to be the main source of everything you need to build. Get some more berries to feed these boys. Okay, so if I were a charm, where would I be? I... Hmm. I don't know. Alright, let's just go search the house real quick, because that looks like a place that might have some good stuff for us. We got another car down here we can whack open. I did see that you needed cattails for the poppet. So we will get that. We will also whack this. I'm sure there's something... We're low on water already. Oh, I don't know how to get water. So we're just going to have to deal with no water for right now. Juice boxes and shoelaces. I wonder if there's going to be any enemies in here. Seems like this episode is just going to be a little bit of exploring that needs to be done. Oh, look at that cheeky little over. Never mind, that's the back door. Make sure that. Oh, I mean, press that. Make sure that if you guys are enjoying, to hit the like button on the video. It really means a lot. Let's me know if you guys want to keep seeing more of this content. You know what I'm saying? Just keep getting upholstery. I probably missed something, some dialogue that I should have, should have heard that would tell me how to get charms. Well, there's nothing good in the house. I mean, we got a upholstery and some other stuff, but that's about it. What's this? Skull cap. Hmm. So these Terminer I've mentioned, bad dudes, let me tell you, came here ages ago, hundreds of years. They weren't the first and obviously haven't been the last, but they for sure are the meanest and stayed the longest. People from your side weren't meant to be here as long as they have. Getting that old help together by magic, it twists you up. Don't worry though, you still got plenty of time. We'll get you home before long, you'll start floating around and wrecking the place. Oh, well, okay, can you please tell me how I never noticed this just bridge sitting here, like, right where base is, that leads up to the portage on? Oh, trade, huh? Do you have charms? 
No. How in the heck do you get a charm? You know what, guys? Just give me one minute. I'll be right back. I gotta figure this out. Okay, so I figured it out. Uh, just caught it on camera a little bit. You just go up to the uh, little onion Drake dudes and interact with them, and they give you charms. Yes, I had to look that up. Um, sure. Thanks, pal. Now I can build the stuff that I need to. Let's put this over here. Build some poppets over here. Look at this guy going. We got two thatch beds. We need one more poppet. What do we need for it? Cactail, and we need some more charms. All right. Let me go grab some cactail while he's doing that. His little business over there real quick. I want to find me a bow and arrow real bad. Have I destroyed this one yet? Yeah, I have. Okay. All right. So we got the thatch beds done. And do I need twigs? Okay, I need charms, apparently. 15 more charms. So for age infant, energy crystal jade, woodcutter, 30% crit to environment. Chance to critical strike trees and brambles. Ooh, what's a bramble? All right. So now we have enough stuff to build one more of these guys. There we go. Look at us go. We got this. Let's go and build that poppet. Oh, wait. When did I get a broomstick? That's lit. Hey, there we go. Let's go talk to Mr. Old Man Crow over here. Look at that. They grow up so fast. <laughs> so... As you may have realized, supplies on this island are a bit limited. So, about that situation. As you've maybe figured out, you're a little trapped on this island. Fear not, as you also most likely surmised, this is an unfixable situation. Like most problems in the Hollow, you can build your way out of this one. Take this schematic. You can use it to unlock the ancient and arcane art of building a curio workshop. Go ahead, try building one. You're gonna have, you're gonna, <clears throat> you're gonna have to if you ever want to get out of this place. Well then, build the ether ward. Ooh, what do we got here? Yeah, what's this? Okay, this is the Curio Workshop. Let's put it over here by the cauldron. There we go. Build it for me, little buddies. Go get them. Beautiful. Let me restock this. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Leave. I want to restock the cauldron. Uh, let's go in the workshop. The simple curio workshop is used for R&D of the curios. Useful gadgets and knickknacks. Once you've unlocked the recipe here, you can always make more anywhere from your build menu. All right. Okay, so we can make, oh, okay, this is where we can make our healings and our charms and whatnot. Um, I'm just going to make one of these wards because I don't know what they do yet. That good feeling I had about you <clears throat> keeps getting better. I'm sorry to drag you into all this, but things have gotten pretty desperate. There's still drakes out there who need your help. Climb that lighthouse up north and take a look-see. 
Keep an eye out for hibernating drakes along the way and grab any schematics you may find. Come back and talk to me once you've explored around there a bit. Alright, looks like we're going to be going on a little quest pretty far too. We're going to go look at the lighthouse. Let's see, 22, 19. Oh yeah, brooms by far the best thing we've got. So, I guess we're going to go explore this lighthouse. That's what we're going to be doing this episode. Collect some supplies along the way to keep our little guys fed up. And... Oh. Wow, this island's way bigger than I thought. I thought it was going to like... I honestly, I don't know what I thought was going to happen. It's just so much fog, you can barely see anything. So, how do you reckon we get over there safely? Do you go around the side, maybe? Oh. Wait, hold on. Does the ether ward let you walk through this stuff? It doesn't. Powerful ward that protects you against... Uh, okay. Let me... There we go. Now if I do that... I can go over here. This is amazing. Wow. This little game that is free to play, by the way. Well, it's not free to play. If you have Game Pass, you can play it. But this little game is really fun. It's unique to a lot of other games. Like, it's not like anything I've played before. Let's go ahead and explore this little gas station before we get over there to the lighthouse. Because you might as well, right? What's up, butter? Boom! Hey, gone. Hey, we got duct tape. You know what they say about duct tape. A little bit of duct tape, fix anything. We'll have this place up and running in no time. Balloon launcher. Oh, hold on now. I don't want to waste a balloon because I only got three. So we're going to try to find us an enemy and see how this works out. Let's use this again. Pretty sure we searched all of that over there. Oh, those sounds. So spooky. Is this a new plant? We got here. We got a yarrow. Alright, I'll collect more of those later. I want to get up to this lighthouse and get into the meat and potatoes of this mission. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Yo, I just straight up launched a balloon filled the God knows what at that end. Oh, that's amazing. He gone. Get us our arrow from our toilet. Because that's how that works. Let's see what I found here. Oh, we got a legendary chest here. Really? It gave me skull cap. That's anticlimactic. Oh, no, they give you pages of I don't know what. All right, let's see what we got going on in the lighthouse. Get us some goodies on the way up. Was that schematic? Yes, it was. Oh. No, oh, yeah. It's about to get serious up in here. Your boy got a hammer. Alright, do I have to climb up these? Yes, I do. Okay, before we walk into the swirling abyss of God knows what, make sure that, if you are enjoying, to like and subscribe and comment down below if you want to keep watching. And with that said, 
Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Oh, I missed a chest on the roof. And crystals. So we just open up some new areas, I see. Oh, word. That is a pretty decently sized map. Infestation levels vary. That's none. So we're down here. This is Home Island. Then we've got the Gasco and the Camp Mystic. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what our new lock is. Help message. Charms are little bits of magic that drakes create. They contain energy that are critical in the transmission of ingredients in the hollow, glowstone and assorted junk in the curios, and raw materials in the structures for the village. Charms are collected by interacting with drakes. Okay. Drakes need a place to sleep when they need to be entertained. The easiest way to address these needs are by building thatched beds and poppets. And then enhanced curios are consumable ephemera correct me if i'm wrong on that word but i'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it they are researched and developed at curio workshops with unlocks for them crafting anywhere nice now we guessing we have to go back and talk to mr crow can you fast travel no you cannot All right. Raid attack. Oh no, they're raiding our village. Hope there's no fall damage. We got to go. Don't worry, little onions. I'm coming. I'm coming, guys. I'll never leave you behind. Oh God, we got to go over here. All right, I need to make another ether ward. Beautiful. Let's go. I'm not going to let these demon pugs destroy you all. I got big man hammer. I mean business. I think they're killing our people. Oh my gosh, run faster, boy. We show weird running animation. <sighs> oh. Never mind. We ain't gonna talk about that. Oh, you're attacking my table, you little... Oh my gosh. How dare he. You want more where this came from, boy? That's what I thought. Get out of here. Multiplayer. Oh. Hey, look forward to that in the future. We might be getting some multiplayer. No, that sucks. Build that again while we talk to Mr. Crow. You've proven it, no doubt. You got what it takes. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to rebuild this place. You find a schematic out there? If so, you can use it. To get to building. Once you build things up a bit, you should catch the terminer's eye, draw them out. You rebuild, take care of the terminer, and that should snap the drakes out of their funk, get their magic back. Once that happens, they send you home. Simple as that. I warned you, it might be a one way trip, but I think you got this. Here's a little gift to get you started fire up the apparition charm if you need to scoot back to camp in a rut. There's our fast travel. Imagine that. Drakes, raise your camp level. The higher the level, the more stuff you can build. Find them in the wilderness or raise their age with crystals. Oh, so they start... Look at this man. There's baby right there. And then there's buff daddy right there. Okay? Older drakes contribute more camp XP than younger ones. Alrighty. Well, it looks like Mr. Crow has a, another mission for us. But I think that's going to have to wait until next episode. But first, 
we are going to restock the cauldron. Um, we're going to restock the cauldron. And then we are going to see if there... I didn't mean to hit you. I'm sorry. Come back. You got a gift for me. What is it? You restored my health. Let me obtain that gift. Oh, what a nice guy. Wampwee. 20% extra item drops. I'm going to select you instead of the lumber one. Can I not do that? Oh, no. They have to have an action available. All right. Sorry. I'm going off on a tangent. Um... But like I said, we will talk to Mr. Crow on the next episode and see where we got to go next on this island and look forward to some multiplayer videos in the future. I might get some of my buds on here to uh, play a little bit with me. But yeah, guys, um, that's it for this episode. Again, make sure if you like the video to subscribe and like this video to you know see more in the future. It's been the Area Container, guys. Peace. Yeah.